Alright everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to upgrade Raspbian to the newer release of Debian. So this is the Jesse release. By default it uses Wheezy. Now you don't necessarily get a new kernel, but you will get some updated software. So this is hatched across onto the Pi. You can see there what the current version is for the kernel, so 3.12.35, but I said that's not going to improve. Now before we begin the upgrade, it might be worth seeing if you have any CPU hungry services running on there. Now, I don't know what you use your Raspberry Pi for, but you might have something there. So we can take a look and just see if there's anything worth shutting down on it. On my case, I have Deluge running, doing some torrenting of Linux torrents, helping the community. So let's gain the root user privileges, assuming you are using the account that does have the pseudo rights in the first place. I'm going to stop that deluge service first. That service deluge stop. So that shows that deluge has stopped. And if I go across onto here, yeah, I can see it's not running. Now I'll take a backup of the sources list. So that's cp forward slash etc apt sources dot list space forward slash etc apt sources dot list dot old. Now let's go and edit the sources list. You can use your favourite text editor here. My preference is Nano. There's only one thing I need to change here. You might have numerous lines you want to change though. Just change the word Wheezy to Jesse. There is a shortcut to doing a bulk change. So that's the command there if you want to do the bulk changes. So if I look in the file now, you can see it says Jesse main contrib non free RPI. Whereas before it said Wheezy there. Now to do an apt get update. Now hopefully this will all be okay on your system. Maybe it would have been worth taking a backup of the home folder. This will be my second attempt at trying it out now, because when I tried it yesterday, it worked absolutely fine, but I didn't really have anything on the system. And it took over an hour to do the upgrade, and that was a minimal system, so I'm expecting this one to take, yeah, probably in the region of two hours. Hmm. Okay, now to do the upgrade, that's apt get dist upgrade. So let's see what the damage is. Whoa! Okay, we've got one not upgraded, that's really not particularly good. Um, Pulling package has been kept back. Wolf from engine. Hmm. Packages will be in un in oh, I've got I've got a few packages that are going to be removed. So that's within LXDE. Python. Well Hmm. Are some of these Python programs going to be important to you? In which case, you might want to stop. Now, we get quite a few new things installed. There's some Python applications here. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't tell you the damage of is it going to be good or bad for your particular system because Raspberry Pi has so many different uses. I can't really see a problem if it's just a standard sort of desktop usage or a simple service like that, but maybe some of the complex GPIO usage, then ugh, I can't tell you. Okay, well that took the best part of four hours to do that. It was only because it kept asking a few questions every now and again about which config file you want to keep. For most of them, I chose to take the new config file. And one change we have is that sysvinit has been replaced by systemd. Now I was wondering, was my custom sysvinit script for Deluge going to work? And from what I can tell, it has done. So that's good, I didn't need to replace anything. Although it was coming up with errors when I was trying to install Deluge, so... In fact, reading it again, I think I understand what that's on about. It's saying the script for Deluge is already provided, so it's that's what the error is. No problems there, so I've done the work for it. But it has worked because you can see now the version is a lot higher, 1.3.10. Can I connect to it? Yes I can. Is it seeding anything? Uh, no, apparently not. No incoming connections. I didn't want to just finish this at a failure, so I've actually got it working now. It was a weird issue I had. 
to start with, I'd lost that line there about the DNS name servers. Then once I corrected that and rebooted, I managed to lose that line there as well. But for some reason it was sort of functioning, but the DNS servers were not connecting. And that's why initially it wasn't doing the port check in Deluge. Anyway, it's all fixed now. I've got torrent downloading and I'm uploading, so that's elementary OS. So problem solved. Weird issue to sort out, but there we go. Anyway, so that's how to upgrade Raspbian to the latest release of Debian Jesse. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.